Vitamin D. Vitamin D, you've been on my mind. I've been taking a daily vitamin D supplement for years. Yet every time I go to my annual physical and get screened, my doctor tells me that I'm vitamin D deficient. But if I'm taking these pills and I'm still deficient, does that mean I'm wasting my money? Is there a better solution to getting vitamin D than a supplement? 2018 is here, and I want answers. Vitamin D is one of 13 vitamins, and most of them help facilitate the reactions of enzymes, reactions that keep us alive. But vitamin D is different. Unlike most vitamins, vitamin D acts as a hormone, a chemical that tells our body to do something. In this case, to store up calcium in our bones, so they form properly and stay strong. Vitamin D is also the only vitamin we don't need to get from our diets, although we can. Mostly, our bodies make vitamin D in our skin with the help of UVB radiation from the sun. This makes me feel positively plant-like. Positively plant-like. The recommended dietary allowance for vitamin D is 15 micrograms, or 600 units per day. An amount so tiny, it's a fraction of a grain of salt. My current supplement says it's giving me 1,000 units. So if I'm taking 400 more units than the recommended amount every day, why am I still deficient? I decided to call up some experts. But before we hear from them, one thing. Vitamin D deficiency is measured according to how many nanograms of something called 25-hydroxyvitamin D I have per milliliter of my blood, which results in understanding vitamin D levels on a rubric from zero upward. To guarantee no evidence of metabolic bone disease, you need to be above 30 nanograms per ml. But my vitamin D levels consistently fall between 20 and 30. Between 20 and 30, there's controversy as to whether people with levels in that range should be considered deficient or not. 21 to 29 is kind of in the gray zone. So why am I ending up in the gray zone? Well, I live in New York City, which is far enough north for me to probably not get enough vitamin D from the sun, especially in winter. I also wear sunscreen on my face, neck, and hands every day because, you know, wrinkles and melanoma, which blocks my body from making vitamin D naturally. There's also debate about whether the 1,000 units of vitamin D I take every day is too little. We did a study here and we showed 1,000 units a day will not make you sufficient. If that's the case, then maybe the answer is just to take more. Is it possible, though, to take too much? You have to basically take 50 to 100,000 units of vitamin D a day for like months to years to even begin to worry about it. Vitamin D toxicity is the rarest medical condition in the world. It's also important to note that vitamin D supplements aren't regulated by the FDA, so there's no guarantee that the vitamins I've been taking have the units of vitamin D per capsule that the bottle promises. But the good news is some do come with a U.S. pharmacopial verification stamp. Those definitely were better, so when possible, if you can find pill bottles with that stamp on it, you're more likely to be getting the dose that you're expecting. So here's my resolution. I've decided to keep taking my vitamin D supplements because I want my 25-hydroxyvitamin D levels above the 30 nanograms per milliliter mark. Aww. So I'm upping my daily dosage, taking those with the USP label, and I'm also going to make a more concerted effort to eat vitamin D-rich foods. And after all that's said and done, I just don't have to worry about it.